Learning objectives include uh, some definitions, captured architecture, and <clears throat> envelope. Virus. What is a virus? Virus basically is a, an infectious particle which is composed of nucleic acid and is surrounded by a protein code called capsid. So basically, this is a complete virus. It has a protein coat which enclosed a nucleic acid inside. Viruses could be present in the cell, in the host, or could be present outside, like in the air. So when they are inside the host, inside the cell, they are called viruses. But when they are outside the host, they are given a name, virion, okay? So this is a, something that you must know, that a virion basically is a virus particle which is lying outside the cell. But once it is inside the cell or it infects the host or cells, it becomes, it is known as virus. There is another term, viroid or viroid. It is a basically infectious circular RNA of plants has only one kind of nucleic acid, which is RNA only. Viruses could have DNA or could have RNA as their nucleic acids, but not both. But viroids, they always have RNA uh, in them. There is no protein coat, and they are much smaller in size than a typical virus. And also, uh, they only infect plants. And as you can see here, some bases can form a complementary base pairing as well. So here, there is no base pairing. There is no base pairing, but here, they, these bases are complementary to each other. So this is a typical structure of a viroid or viroid. Now, virus structure. As I mentioned, that they are composed of nucleic acid. They have nucleic acids. And nature of the nucleic acid is either DNA or RNA, and never both. So in a virus, you would never find both DNA and RNA together. So in other words, it means that the virus either would be DNA containing virus or RNA containing virus, but never both. That DNA or RNA, which is a nucleic acid, it could be single or double-stranded. It could be circular or linear. And it could be just one segment or could be multiple segments. As you can see here, there are multiple segments we see. So some viruses would have just one linear or circular DNA or RNA, but some would have more segments present. Viruses, nucleic acid is contained within a capsid. And capsid basically is made up of proteins, and each individual protein molecule, is, it forms a collection, what we collectively called as capsomeres. So capsomeres basically are subunits, proteins, that could be just a single protein or could be a combination of various proteins. So a capsomere can consist of one protein or could be multiple proteins. And then those capsids are arranged around the nucleic acid in various ways, and that gives rise to what we call symmetry. As you can see, this capsid is different in morphology, in shape, than this and then also this. So based on the capsid morphology or the arrangement of those capsomeres, we can categorize viruses on the basis of symmetry into various groups. Some viruses can have additional layer. So this is the capsid here. This is also a capsid here. But you see this virus has another membrane around it. And this is called uh, envelope virus envelope. Some viruses, they, when they bud off the cells, after they multiply in the cell, when they come off the cell, they derive their membrane, outer membrane, which we call viral envelope, from the, the, the host cells. Some of these proteins, that are these, these projections that you see, they are of viral origin, and some part is of the host cell membrane. Those viruses that do not have an envelope, they are also called as naked viruses. This envelope, it may have spikes, those projections, like these projections. And sometimes, these, as I mentioned, that these projections are basically coded by the viral 
ڈی این اے اور آر این اے اینڈ دے مے ہیو کاربوہائیڈریٹس دیر آر کمپلیکس ود پروٹینس اینڈ پروجیکٹنگ آن ٹو دا سرفیس دیز اسپائکس دے سرو ویریس پرپز سم بائنڈ ٹو دا ہوسٹ سیل ایز لائگن سو دے ایڈ اور دے ہیلپ دا وائرس ان دیر اینٹری ان ٹو دا سیل نو موسٹ وائرسز ان فیکٹ اونلی اسپیسیفک ٹائپ آف سیلز ادھر پلانٹ سیلز اور اینیمل سیلز اینڈ دیٹ دا ہوسٹ رینج ان ادر ورڈز بیسکلی ڈپینڈز آن دی اویلیبلٹی آف دوز ریسیپٹرز ود وچ دا وائرس بائنڈس دیر ہوسٹ رینج از سو بیسکلی ڈٹرمن بائی دا اسپیسیفک اٹیچمنٹ سائٹس دیر آر پریزنٹ ان دا ہوسٹ اینڈ دیٹ از دا ریزن وہ وی سی دیٹ اے وائرس دیٹ انفیکٹس آور ریسپریٹری سسٹم اٹ ڈز ناٹ انفیکٹ آور ادر سسٹمس اینڈ دا ریزن از دیٹ دا ریسپریٹری سسٹم ہیز ریسیپٹرز اویلیبل فار دا وائرس ٹو اٹیچ and those receptors are missing everywhere else and that is the reason the virus only attacks respiratory systems so similarly we see that some viruses are specific to certain animals some are human specific some are dog specific some are cat specific and the reason is the receptor basically based on the capsid architecture uh, we can categorize viruses into various groups this is called a helical virus This is a kind of rod shape or elongated structure where we see that the nucleic, nucleic acid is, is a spiral in shape and around this spiral nucleic acid are uh, laid capsomeres. So capsomere basically covers the nucleic acid in a long hollow uh, tube like structure. A rabies virus is an example of a helical virus or helical symmetry. Another category is polyhedral viruses Uh, as you can see here, the capsomeres are arranged in a form that they make uh, different triangles. There are about 20 different triangles, uh, and there are 12 corners. So these are the corners. This is a corner. This is a corner. So they, if you count them, there would be 12 corners, and there will be 20 different uh, triangles. And this is called a polyhedron virus. Another type is an envelope virus. Well, Any virus, helical or uh, the ecosahedron or polyhedron could be enveloped or could be non-enveloped, could be naked or could be enveloped viruses. Influenza virus is, is, a, is an example of an enveloped virus. Basically, it's a helical symmetry. A combination of this, the two, polyhedral as well as helical, polyhedral and helical is what we name as a complex virus. Bacteriophages is a typical example of this. We can name these viruses like we name bac various bacteria. The word variety indicates this is a family name. And virus basically is placed at the end of a genus. So her herpes variety is a family. Herpes virus is a genus. And then the species is also, um, is, is most of the time it is the It is the disease or the, the host that is attached as a uh, species name. For example, human herpes virus. Uh, this is the species name. And some viruses may have different strains. Then we give them uh, numbers like one, two, three. So in summary, um, viruses and virions and viroids are, are different things. Um, virus... is the one that infects the host cell. When it is outside the host cell, it is called virion, uh, virion here. And they contain either DNA or RNA. Uh, Symmetry-wise, there are various three, three groups uh, of the viruses. And that symmetry basically is determined by the arrangement of these capsomeres.